Okay. Yeah, no problem. And right now we're going to go to Lance Hernandez, who is down in Highlands Ranch, and he's at a scene where police have been going through a home. And uh, Lance, we're hearing that this may be the home uh, of who police think is the shooter. That's what we're learning, uh, John. I'm at Sugarstone and Madras in Highlands Ranch. And as you can see, authorities have cordoned off that house with crime scene tape. Uh, there are a number of investigators out in the street, no doubt awaiting a search warrant affidavit so they can enter that house and look for evidence that may link them to events that happened at Arapahoe High School a little bit earlier today. Now, we tried to talk to uh, some neighbors just a few minutes ago. They declined an on-camera request uh, for an interview, apparently a little uncomfortable about talking to reporters right now, uh, but they are huddling together and talking amongst themselves. Now, earlier, one neighbor told us that there was a teenager or is a teenager that lives in that house with his mom. They say that uh, he apparently attended Arapahoe High School because they saw an Arapahoe High School sign in the front yard at one point, uh, but they didn't know much other than that about the family. Now, again, authorities haven't released the suspected gunman's name. We have an idea who it is, but we're not going to release that until it is confirmed by authorities. It's likely going to be a long evening here in Highlands Ranch while authorities await that search warrant and then go into that house and see if they can find any evidence that will uh, link this individual to the crime and also try to find answers as to why the events happened at Arapahoe High School today. Live in Highlands Ranch, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. Lance, I want to keep you there just one minute. Do you, uh, do you see uh, a number of agencies involved here, uh, federal and state? Uh, what, uh, what agencies are you, are you seeing out there tonight? Well, we know that the Douglas County Sheriff's Office is out here. Highlands Ranch is, is unincorporated uh, Douglas County. Uh, we know that uh, uh, Arapahoe County Sheriff's officers are out here as well. I can't tell because the officers and investigators that I'm seeing, I, I do see a gentleman with an ATF jacket. Um, they're out in the middle of the street. We don't have light on them, so it's very dark. You might only be able to see some silhouettes right now. Uh, but there's a possibility that there's FBI out there as well. Um, whenever it involves a, a, a gun in a school, you typically get federal agents out here as well. None of them talking to reporters at this point, but as I mentioned, it will uh, likely be a long evening here because uh, they've got a lot, a lot of work to do once they're able to get inside that house. John. All right, Lance, thanks very much, and we'll uh, check back with you uh, later in the evening.